Matthew 4. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. I speak unto thee this day, and I say, Count it a privilege to keep on choosing me. That is, count it a privilege to keep on choosing the way of my truth, the way of my light, and the way of my mercy. I say, Count it a privilege to keep on walking uprightly in that which I give thee, which is the light upon the path. For I say, if you will continue in the way that I offer, the way that I provide, then you are brought forth by me. Now I say, you are living in a time when many have chosen according to the flesh, rather than the spirit, yet they claim that they are mine. But I say they are fools who are deceiving themselves. I say they are as Esau in the sense that they've chosen that which is fleshly and carnal above that which is spiritual life. And I say all the while they may brag, they may boast, they may declare they have their best life now, but I say that is the only life that they will have. For I say when they stand before me in the throes of death, they will find they are damned forever. For I say, when men will choose the flesh rather than the spirit, I say, they are choosing that which is death. And I say, they may promote themselves, they may exalt themselves in their choice, but I say, they are deceiving themselves. For I say, when a man or woman will choose that which is fleshly above that which is spiritual, they are choosing that which will destroy. For I say, that the end of carnality is, of course, corruption. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do offer to each and every man choices every day. That is, that he can choose to serve me, obey me, and walk uprightly in me. Or I say that a man can choose to lose by choosing that which is fleshly carnal, and it's not at all of my spirit dimension. And I say when a man will choose to pamper his flesh and give to himself what it is that he lusts for, I say he is choosing in opposition to me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called my people to be so carnally minded that they are no good to me. That is, to be concerned each day with what it is that they want for themselves rather than what it is that I desire. Now I say you are living in a time when multitudes are being martyred around this world for their faith, their trust, their confidence in me. Yet I say there are others who are claiming that they must indeed indulge the flesh wallow in the same and be found well pleasing unto me. I say such ones are liars, deceivers, and taken in the throes of self-deceit and loving itself. But I say they are the ones who will howl and moan in the desolation of their own souls when they are brought before me. But I say that the ones who have laid their lives down will receive the crown of glory for the way that they gave their lives. That is, the ones who have gone out in martyrdom will be counted as heroes of faith by me. But I say that the ones who seek to keep their own lives will find they have no life in me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do call thee to keep on choosing, lest you be losing out with me. And I say that I call thee to be thankful each day that you are given the truth, the hope, the strength, the safety of who I am. And I say that I call thee to purpose yourselves to take the steps of discipline, to take the steps of chastisement and correction that you need. In other words, to not put self above my kingdom, for the same to choose self is to choose death. I say this day when I live in God do offer the way of life unto men, it is that they would be in repentance before me. That is, that they would indeed repent of the indulgence of sin that they have been in, and walk circumspectly before me. Now I say if you abandon your flesh to that which is beastly, to that which is wicked, to that which is vile, then I say that you must indeed retrain the beast. And I say that you must subdue the beastliness that has been awakened in thee. 
For I say it is me, the living God, who does desire that my own people would be willing to do whatsoever it is that I require of them. That is, that they could indeed be partakers of the blessedness, the truth, and the light day after day. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that men would walk in the Spirit, pursue the mind of the Spirit, and be obedient unto the same. But I say when men are consumed with their own fleshly lust, I say they are consumed in death. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do offer to the sons of men the way wherein they can be kept by me. That is, the way wherein they can be guided, directed, and instructed each and every day. And I say, when the ones who are choosing me will walk in that way, then they are brought forth by me. And yes, they are given the truth, the light, the blessedness, the strength that I provide. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, am calling for all men to repent, to come into me, to walk uprightly in me. And I say that I'm calling for the ones who will humble themselves to bow down low and be subject unto me in all things. For I say when men will purpose themselves unto obedience and walk mindful of the same, then I say that they are brought forth by me. And yes, they are given the strength to continue in the life, the light of who I am. Now I say, therefore, this day, be glad for the privilege to walk in me, be glad for the privilege to be directed, corrected, and instructed by me. And I say, be thankful each day that it is me that you can continue to look unto, to believe, to trust, and obey. For I say, when you put your hope, your confidence in me rather than the arm of flesh, and that includes even your own self, then I say, you are guided forth. But I say, when you put your confidence in the arm of flesh, including your own self, and the strength of the same, you are putting your confidence in that which is wise. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do call my people to keep their focus ever upon me, continue in repentance, revolution, each and every day. For I say it is me, the living God, who calls men to walk uprightly, who calls men to accept my guidance over them. For I say it is me, the living God, who does offer to the sons of men all that they ever have need of to be brought forth in me. And I say, if the ones who are choosing me will walk in what it is that I offer, then I say, they gain the way of eternal life. But I say, if the man will start in grace, then turn back to the flesh, he is turning back to the very course of death. Now I say, this day that I believe in God to call my people to be in the spirit journey that I set before them, and ever thankful for the same. That is, ever walking forth in the power of my truth, and my light ever being made glad that it is me that they serve. For I say that the more that you are willing to humble yourself and walk in that humility before me, the more that you will see my power upon thee. But I say if you are proud, high-minded, and lifted up in your own greatness, that is all you have. Now I say there are those who are tooting their worn-out horns, proclaiming how great they are. I say they have nothing to give at all. For I say they have taken and taken and taken, and I say they are empty, and I say they are only waiting to be burned. And I say while they are so loud in their promotion of their way, I say they are nothing but empty-headed and desolate fools. For I say they are calling others to the same death that they are in, and loving it so. But I say when it is finished and they stand before me, I say they are the ones who will scream in the agonies of the damned when they realize what they have done. That is, that they allowed their carnality to usurp authority, and I say they brought men into ruination and despair. And I say they will see the blood upon their hands as endless because they chose to pursue carnality rather than the spirit life. And I say they were deceivers, deceived themselves and deceiving others into the crafty deceit of the flesh. Now I say this day that I, O living God, do not call thee to wallow in carnality and the rebellion that accompanies the same. But I say that I've called thee to be a spirit people who are ever guided forth by me. And I say that I've called thee to be thankful that I give to thee the truth, the light, the strength, and the mercy each and every day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way of all mercy, hope, and peace provided. Therefore I say, continue ye as a steadfast people who are ever hoping, believing, and looking unto me, for I am the I am. And I say, when it is me, the living God, that you continue to believe, to trust, to obey, then you are brought forth by me. And yes, you will be uplifted in that which I give, which is the truth, the light, the mercy, the strength, and the hope day by day. For I say, it is me, the living God, who gives to my own the way of eternal life. 
Now I say, therefore, this day continue ye as a steadfast people who are ever hoping, believing, trusting, and knowing that I am indeed well able. And I say, continue to be guided, to be comforted, to be directed and corrected by me. For I say, when you will indeed continue in the commission that I've given unto thee to declare to all men their need to repent, I say, stay steady at the same. And realize that if men will repent, then they can be restored to me. Realize likewise that you are living in a time of generation when many will be martyred or murdered. And I say that if they are murdered without repentance, then I say they go to hell. But I say if men have repented, then I say when they are put to death, they are counted as martyrs for me. That is, in the sense that they gave their lives for the only true cause that is upon this earth. And I say that it is the cause of my eternal kingdom. But I say when men are desolate of soul and they come under the cudgel of the bloodthirsty and they die for naught, I say then they end in hell. Now I say this day do not be neglectful about the call to repentance, but I say take seriously the same. And I say be personally repentant each and every day that you are found in right standing with me. And I say, be accepting my hand upon thee, be accepting what it is that I desire and require, and absolutely do not back up from the same. For I say, you are not meant to be as the double-minded fools who say they love me, yet I say, they will not obey me. But I say, they are quick to cater to their own carnality, to the lust, to the whims, to the complaints of the flesh, while they are neglectful to obey me. Now I say this day make it your practice each and every day to walk in obedience unto me. That is, that you can be sensitive to the mind of my spirit and obey the same. That you can indeed be coming forth, directed, corrected, and ever guided by me. For I say if you choose the way that I put before thee, if you will walk in the same, then I say it is me, the living God, who gives mercy to thee. And I say, if you will be choosing what it is that I provide, I say you are coming forth in the way of eternal life. And yes, you are being uplifted, directed, and ever guided by me. Now I say, this day count it a privilege to keep on believing, to keep on serving, to keep on following after. And I say, count it a privilege to know that it is me, the living God, who is ever present to guide thee forth. Count it a privilege to know that it is me, the living God, who gives to thee every resource that you have need of as you walk in obedience unto me. I say this day do not murmur nor complain, but I say be thankful each day. That is, that I give to thee truth and light, strength and hope and mercy each and every day. Now I say this day when the idol of God do call thee to be sensitive to me, I say be ever present to obey the same. That is, be present to partake of the blessedness, the truth and the light that I provide, for it is me the living God who is able. And I say, do not live your lives in a state of what you can do to increase the comfort of your own carnality, but I say, live your lives dedicated unto me. That is, that you can indeed make yourselves a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto me. Now I say, this day, if I, the living God, do have a requirement for you, and you obey the same, then you are found well pleasing. But I say, if you throw off what it is that I ask of thee, and take up the way of flesh, I say, you are taking up death. And yes, you will be destroyed by the very things you choose above me. Now I say this day that I am living God do not call thee to be yielded to appetite, to lust, to evil desire, but I say that I call thee to be yielded to me. And I say that I call thee to be thankful each day that I purpose, direct, correct, and guide thee forth. And I say that I call thee to be thankful each day that it is me, the living God, who covers thee in the strength, the truth, and the light of who I am. For I say you are meant to live long, to bear much fruit, and proclaim the kingdom that remains. Therefore I say be thankful for the call to repentance that can be the be put forth to all men. And I say be thankful to live the repentant revolutionary lifestyle in the humility way that I provide. And there's another massive waterfall at the end of that. But you can't really take some of it because it's just absolutely wet and get soaked on the way up here. Whatever one sows, that will he also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. Commanded by God.
You're commanded by God to repent. You're commanded by God.